Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful time of the day. A couple of days ago, I posted this gigantic pile of PR packages on my community post and I've gotten so many questions asking on how to get brands to send you stuff. So today I'm gonna be telling you everything that you need to know to actually get that first PR package. I've been a content creator for about two years now, so I'm gonna be spilling all the tea and I'm gonna tell you what actually worked for me. But before we get into the video, please consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. First thing that you are gonna need to do, and it's gonna seem very obvious, but you need to actually start posting content because if you're not a content creator, you can't get PR. And I'm not trying to sound like a condescending by stating the obvious, but it is something that a lot of people do not take into consideration. Think about PR as almost like a business transaction. A brand will send you a product for free in hopes that you potentially will share your thoughts and opinions on it with your audience, even though there are technically no strings attached and you don't have to post about it. However, if you don't, they probably won't send it to you again. So if you haven't built a platform, it's not really beneficial for a brand to send you stuff. But I don't want you to be scared by the word platform. You do not need to have hundreds and thousands of followers because a lot of brands actually work with smaller creators. They just need to see that you have people who are rooting for you and want you to succeed, so the follower count doesn't really matter. I actually got my first PR box when I only had 10,000 followers, but that's where I made my biggest mistake. And this leads me to my second point. When you actually start creating content, you need to put your email in the bio. How are brands supposed to reach you if there's no way to contact you? Like I said, this was one of my biggest mistakes as a small creator because I thought, oh, I don't have that many followers. Who's gonna wanna work with me? Wrong. A lot of brands do and they will work with creators as small as 1,000 followers. So regardless of how small you are, just put the email in your description. You never know who's gonna reach out to you. Okay, now that you actually Actually started posting content and you have an email start reposting your content to different platforms creators who are limiting themselves to one platform are missing out on so many opportunities and it's always good to be versatile because some brands will want you to have an active instagram some will want you to post on tiktok you get the point point. and let me tell you from my knowledge a lot of brands will not work with you if you don't have an active instagram or you don't post on tiktok because that's like the hot thing right now so it's always good to have multiple active social medias because that will just increase your chances of getting this covered plus that'll help you grow as a creator okay so what happens if you're making content you have an email you're posting your content on different platforms but brands are still not reaching out to you well you could always reach out to them and that is the scariest part when i was a smaller creator i must have messaged 60 different companies before i got my first package i think we can all agree that getting rejected sucks it doesn't feel good especially if you're spending hours formulating different emails researching contact information and just getting your hopes up there's also a big chance that they won't even look at your email and that's okay i don't want you to get discouraged because they probably get sent like over 100 emails a day but that is the same thing as the email you never know who might reach out to you and you never know who may respond so don't be scared of getting rejected because a lot of good things may come from it so okay how do you actually reach out to brands well you can always shoot them an email and introduce yourself as a creator in that email you should also include why you love the brand just make sure to keep it short and simple and ask them if they have a spot on their mailing list or they're looking for creators to collaborate with and that is also a great way to score your first paid collaboration or if you took my previous advice and you started reposting your content on a bunch of different platforms you can just shoot them a simple dm and that way they have a very easy access to seeing what kind of content you create and if you as a person resonate with their brand and the last tip isn't exactly for pr but more so for different collaborations there are apps for creators out there that will send you a free product in exchange for a video review there are so many of them out there but i'm only going to talk about one that i used when i was starting out because i know it's legit <laughs> by the way not sponsored it's called skeepers or octally i think that's what they go by now and you can join them as soon as you hit a thousand followers on instagram or tiktok i think a thousand subs on youtube as well or no it's 500 subs on youtube i'm gonna insert a screen recording right here while i explain how it works basically when you create your account you'll get five total credits which you can use to apply for different campaigns and once you publish your video review you'll get them back there are a bunch of products that you can pick from and literally the only thing that you have to do is make a video and then follow the ad guidelines personally i was able to score campaigns with joe malone benefit milk makeup and dr dan's gross when i was starting out so that was really nice but again i just want to say that this is not PR, it is a gifted collaboration. PR, no strings attached, gifted collaboration, you have to post. But that is all of the tips that I have to share with you for today. I hope you guys were able to find this video helpful, so please let me know if you have any more questions or you want to see more videos like this. Okay, bye!